All right, you guys. So, welcome to Jasper Active Lesson Four, Exercise One, Part Two. Because I ran out of time in 15 minutes to get this thing, this whole exercise done. So, where I left off was was Step Six, and I'm going to pick up from there uh, right now. So it says, create a new title only slide. So I go to new slide and I'm going to select title only. Then it says using Windows Explorer, navigate to documents, Jasper active resource files and open up the bicycle tours chart. So let me open up down here, my file explorer. Notice I was already there, documents, Jasper Active, Resource Files, and Bicycle Tours Chart. And I double click to open it up. And you can see I was working on it. It auto saved. Um, this just had a title right here. So I'll fix it. So it makes more sense when we do this later. And it says click on the chart. So select the whole chart. The grab handles are around it. And Control C, copy. And I'm going to minimize Excel window, minimize File Explorer, and it says uh, return to your presentation on the Home tab in the Clipboard group. So right here, Home tab, Clipboard group, you're going to say Paste. You're going to pass over all of these and go to Paste Special. They want you to paste a link. When you do that, it looks like you just pasted the chart in there. But notice the chart is selected. But we don't have our chart tools up here. We actually have shape format tools. So it treats it like we just put a shape in there, which is a little peculiar, but you're about to find out why. It says, after, add the slide title right up here, Bicycle Tours. And then it says, click the Drawing Tools Format tab. So Drawing Tools, Format tab. And I need to change, I can't move the window here, but I can change the size of my font so I can read the directions here a little bit better. I don't know why they're doing that to me, but we will just finish it up. So it says, um, so with the chart selected, you're going to go to Drawing Shape Format, and then where it says Size and Position. So Arrange, right here, Drawing Tools. I'm going to click this little button, Dialog Box Launcher, and hover over here. Currently, we're on Fill. There's Size and Position. Click the Size and Position. I'm going to expand these two menus out like so. Now, it says in the size category, clear the lock aspect ratio box. So now I no longer have the check in this box. And it says, change the height right here to 5.11. So I need to actually delete what's in there and I'm gonna type 5.11 and the width. I'm going to make that exactly 8.05. Then in the position, it wants it to be positioned in the horizontal position. Make sure it is one inch from the top left corner. And in the vertical position, make sure it is 1.8 inches from the top left corner. And that's going to put it in a very specific position. I'm just, I just need to click off of there to get it to move that last little bit. Now, we've created the Bicycle Tours chart. We linked it to an existing spreadsheet. And notice it's in the exact position it's supposed to be. So now it says go back to your Excel file. So I'm down here in the start menu, oops, in the start, in the taskbar. And notice I can click here in the title, and change it to read, bike, 
at it again, Night Tours. And I have an extra E in there I need to delete. Once you've made that change, click Save, and then close Excel. And what I want you to notice when you come back is that the title in our chart has changed in PowerPoint. Even though we didn't do anything to it in PowerPoint, we linked to it in PowerPoint. So it actually looks for this data back in the Excel spreadsheet that it came from. So next, we need to save a presentation. So huh, this is the part we needed to get to about four minutes ago. File, save a copy, and we're going to go to Documents, Jasper Active. So I'm going to click right there, click right there, and I need to change to the My Projects folder. And I need to give it the title. It's called Tours Chart Final. And that right there, as soon as I hit, as soon as I hit the save button should be it and i really feel like at this point oh, excuse me at this point i have earned some cheering there we go so that might be a little early let's submit it and get it 100 percent all right, thank you for bearing with me on this one, part two of inserting charts.